Coming up next, Voice Driven, riding shotgun with Joey DeGraw. This time, Joey travels to Los Angeles and Las Vegas. Between gigs, Joey has to run to the studio for a voiceover session and try to manage his bar in New York City from the road. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but we'll let you see a little. What's up, Gavin? Hey, how you feeling? Good. That's why they call it the Bulls. <laughs> <laughs> nice hey, hey, what's happening? What's up, there, boss? What you doing? Good to see you, man. And I'm leaving it all behind. I will lock the door. And we're going over to uh, Barney's Beanery. That's the last bar Janice Joplin went before she died. It's a really famous bar right down the street from our apartment there. And uh, just having some drinks, relaxing, getting over the travel. <laughs> if, I don't write, if I didn't write songs, I wouldn't even sing. Really? It's thrilling. But it's not the goal. It's not what I think about when I sit down and write music, you know? What's the goal then? It's to get Jeremy a chick. Well, it seems to be working. For me, the goal is to try to uh, write, write some good songs, you know? So the songwriting is more fun than the... Uh, than the I wouldn't say form. fun. I think the, I think the uh, playing the songs is the fun part. That's kind of like after all the work is done, everybody gets to rejoice in the finished product. All right. Amanda can play cool, dude. Yeah. Amanda's a pool shark. <laughs> Alright, I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, boy. Hold on. That was my brother's bus passed us. And yeah, Jeremy was a little tall for the mini. How's that, Dino? Is that better? <laughs> Come on. Watch, watch out your... Uh... <laughs> That's one. How's that, Dino? Hey, buddy. You want a Brontosaurus burger? <laughs> it's fun until it's you. <laughs> Can we get someone putting a big-ass rib on the side of the car and it tipping over? <laughs> I couldn't believe it. It was so crazy because it was at the same time I was talking to Brad Pitt and Robert De Niro. I mean, I was just happened to run into them accidentally. You know, it's crazy that Brad, he just had a facial. Me and him go to the same person. And um, it's funny because his ex-wife, his girlfriend, we have the same gym membership. And we were just talking to Courtney Cox uh, over there. And uh, she was saying that... Uh, something and then David Duchovny was there too. It was odd because I remember we were all laughing at the same time that uh, Steven Seagal was also uh, like kind of lingering and we were engaged in a conversation and, and it was just weird because you know Britney Spears was like all up in our faces. <laughs> Yeah, that's on Santa Monica Boulevard, about a block south from our place. Right there, that? That's 90s style, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one wants to buy you flowers. <laughs> if you want to talk for hours. <laughs> hours. You got a flower. In the hours. Hours. <laughs> Don't forget the yellow pudding pop. <laughs> well, I would say that's pretty words. extreme. Dude, go. The code is so extreme. <laughs> Look at this. I saw that one here. Yeah. That's good. Oh, definitely, man. That'd be awesome, right? Yo. Yeah. Oh Matt, that matches perfect with your Ocean Pacific shirt. Let's hear it for 1986. Just trying to express myself.
my brother's bus is way bigger than mine. <laughs> <laughs> we have a few pictures from inside, but uh, we actually yeah, they, didn't get from They wouldn't let us shoot, right? Voiceovers. We're gonna run in uh, my father. We're here in Los Angeles. My father's gonna drop me off. We're just leaving my uh, apartment here. Uh, he's gonna drop me off at uh, my agency. I'm gonna have a voiceover session there. And then we're gonna go try to catch a plane. Hope we don't miss it. Where are we going? Vegas. <laughs> I mean, Los Angeles right now, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to get on, I'm running to the airport to get on a plane to go to Las Vegas, and then tomorrow morning I have to fly to Nashville. I'm like, uh, I just played at the House of Blues here last night. Yep. Oh, top tags and end tags? Okay. Okay. On an all-new parking wars. On an all-new parking wars. Next on A&E. Cool. Bye, Julia. Half of what I say is meaningless. I will not draw back my bow. I'll give you what I'm told to show. The window is closed and the sun is on the show. You got enough to think about. Do you have some fun tonight? I guess. Depends <laughs> if I win or lose. It's a good show last night though, right? It was fun. What a crowd. No, I think that was the best. Like that every day. I think that was the best crowd. Very, they, were, they were very uh, receptive. Oh my god, I looked down at them and they were all like looking. They were mouthing the words to all your stuff. They were there for you. Man. A lot of them were, but you know, a lot of the people that come to my shows uh, found me through my brother, so they were already fans of his anyways. You know? Wow. That was a lot of fun. I want to see that footage that Anderson took of you uh, dancing by the merch table. That was pretty funny. <laughs> my brother's playing. <laughs> <laughs> 